Let the region R be the region the closed interval from 0 to 2 by the closed interval from 0 to 2. When the region R is given in this way, the first interval is for x, the second interval is for y. This indicates the region R is the square region shown here on the far right in the xy plane. We have a 2 by 2 square in the xy plane. We're asked to find the volume of the region over R and below the plane that passes through the three points A, B, and C. Let's first take a look at this graphically. The purple plane is a plane containing the three points A, B, and C. I plotted the three points in red. You can see two of them here and one here on the side. Notice all three points are on the purple plane and we're looking for the volume under this plane over the square region in the xy plane where x and y are both on the closed interval from zero to two, which would be in this square region here looking down on the xy plane. So going back to our work, we need to begin by determining the equation of the plane passing through these three points. Looking at our notes below, recall the equation of a plane containing the point P in a normal vector n is given by the equation shown here at the bottom. Which means to determine a normal vector to the plane, we will determine two vectors in the plane using the points A, B, and C, then determine the cross product of those two vectors to determine a normal vector. And then we can select one of the points a or B or C to determine an equation for the plane. Let's first determine vector A, B in component form. The X component is one minus zero, the Y component is zero minus zero, and the Z component is two minus one. Vector A, B is the vector one comma zero comma one. And now let's determine vector A, C, where the X component is zero minus zero, the Y component is one minus zero, and the Z component is nine minus one. Vector A, C, is the vector zero comma one comma eight. And now to determine a normal vector to the plane, we'll determine the cross product of these two vectors by setting up a three by three determinant where the first row of the unit vectors i, j, and k, the second row will be the components from vector a, b, the third row will be the components of vector a, c. And now we evaluate the three by three determinant which I've already set up here. The normal vector n is the vector negative one comma negative eight comma one. And now let's determine an equation of the plane using this normal vector, and let's use point A, the point zero comma zero comma one. This gives us an equation of the plane of negative one times the quantity x minus zero, minus eight times the quantity y minus zero, plus one times the quantity z minus one equals zero. And now we'll go ahead and solve this for z. An equation of the plane is z equals x plus eight y plus one. Now that we have the equation of the plane, we can determine the desired volume using the double integral over the region R shown here at the bottom right of the screen. The volume V is equal to the double integral over the region R of f of x comma y, which is the plane given by x plus eight y plus one. For differential A, let's use the order of integration of dy dx. It really doesn't matter, remember, both are on the closed interval from zero to two. So the limits integration for y are from zero to two. The limits integration for x are also from zero to two. And now let's evaluate the double integral on the next slide. We first integrate with respect to y. Integrating x with respect to y gives us xy, plus integrating eight y, we have eight times y squared divided by two, or plus four y squared, plus the integral of one with respect to y is y. And now we perform substitution for y. When y is two, we have two x plus four times the square of two plus two, and then minus, notice when y is zero, all the terms would be zero. Simplifying, we have the integral from zero to two of two x plus 16 plus two, or two x plus 18 dx. And now we integrate with respect to x. Integrating two x, we have two times x squared divided by two, which simplifies to x squared, plus the integral of 18 with respect to x is equal to 18 x. And now we find big F of two minus big F of zero, which gives us the square of two plus 18 times two, and then minus when x is zero, both terms are zero. 
Simplifying, we have 4 plus 36, which is equal to 40. The volume under the plane containing the points A, B, and C over the region R is equal to 40 cubic units. I hope you found this helpful.